I'm Nick Dash, an optometrist from the UK, here in Barcelona at the SCRS in 2015. I'd like really to, to share my story in terms of what Tear Lab has offered me in clinical practice. Um, for, so for the first time, it's offered me a metric, a number. As a clinician, that's great. I've got a number which helps me in terms of diagnosis and endorses my treatment strategies. Patients love it because rather like a blood pressure reading, they can take ownership of a number and try and bring that number down by effectively treating their eyes, whether that's drops, uh, lid massage, uh, lid heating, a whole host of uh, mechanisms. We can actually get that patient's um, buy into that treatment because what they're trying to do is to bring the number down, that osmolarity reading down. So patients love it. As clinicians, I like it. As a clinician, I like it because it means I can delegate some of these tasks to a fellow cl clinician, another optometrist, or even an optometric assistant. We all get that same number at the end of the day. With that number, we can then plug that into an algorithm and a protocol which allows us to treat that dry eye effectively and we actually have a, a, a sort of a, a patient flow through the dry eye system which is an ongoing thing. So we can monitor the tear osmolarity at the time of diagnosis and subsequent months uh, and years which will enable us to, to monitor the progress of that patient, hopefully to clear white dry eyes. Um, so it's giving us as clinicians and patients the, the tool that we've previously not had. In terms of a more expanded role, it helps us understand those refractive surprises that we sometimes get within refractive surgery or premium IOLs. So by testing the tear osmolarity, we can highlight and treat that pre-existing ocular surface condition and therefore hopefully improve those visual outcomes and reduce the incidence of the refractive surprise. We've got to remember that actually the primary refractive surface of the eye and the visual system is that tear layer. And so by improving our understanding and the quality of that tear layer and the improving the osmolarity, we should get a more stable, better quality of vision for all our patients. So it is a matter of giving us a tool to help us implement a whole program of treatment strategies for our patients with dry eye or ocular surface disease, which means that patients are happier. And from our point of view, we have ownership of a number and a metric that enables us to pursue a, a, a treatment strategy, which is objective and well-founded and endorsed by peer-reviewed articles.